We're currently sitting here in the room of Shade of Aranicus. Why? Because he's our glowy dog now. So we're taking a field trip outside of the cathedral and we're gonna go over my wish list for paladins in phase four of Season of Discovery. Before we do that, we're gonna go into our phase three wish list that we did last time around to see what we were able to get, what we missed, and if there's anything that we still want. For our phase three wish list, we wanted Avenger Shield changes, rotational runes, consecration buffs, making Divine Storm holy damage, an overall damage increase, and increasing the viability of block value. Which ones did we get? We're still missing Avenger Shield changes, Divine Storm being turned into holy damage to help with our Righteous Fury threat. We got our rotational runes in Hammer of Righteous. We got Consecration buffs through Wrath. We got a damage increase from both of those things. And we got increased viability of block value in the sense that itemization from the raid increases your block value, but there's still not a giant incentive to go that route, which leads to the phase four wish list for paladins. We're starting out with our favorite spell, Avenger Shield. Different ways that we can help Avenger Shield is including it in the Art of War gameplay. We can reduce its cooldown. We can give it an interrupt so we don't just completely waste rebuke since no one's using it ever. Or something that's kind of adjacent, and one of my guildies recommended this, they can make Exorcist baseline so you can just cast exorcism on anyone and that would free up the spot next they need to give us a definitive choice are we doing damage or are we reducing damage if they want to disincentivize tanks to be doing more damage they need to increase the threat value of different attacks i know in classic it's like threats an actual thing in retail it's pretty much sticky glue but they're gonna have to increase threat for each ability if they want tanks to be focused more on mitigation than damage so this isn't necessarily like something that they can just give us in a rune but it's something that i would like to see be better defined going forward less reliance on seal of martyrdom they kind of tried to do that by allowing Seal of Righteous to crit, but it doesn't trigger Art of War. So it's essentially like, thanks, but no thanks. I'm still never going to use this because Seal of Martyr procs Art of War, Seal of Righteous doesn't. They could easily fix this by just turning that on and let it proc Art of War because then that would open up being able to use Aegis, Divine Storm, Horn, like all these other chest runes that are good, but we're so stuck on this Art of War gameplay that we can never take them. This next one is a big one, Improved Holy Shield. I want a reason to take Holy Shield because it's sick and it really plays into the whole tanking fantasy as a paladin. So I'd like to see a rune that triggers an AOE blast when you activate your Avenger shield. That would help it be a more proactive spell for gaining threat rather than a reactive spell. They could even make the damage that it does have the same threat bonus that the damage blocking gives you. It doesn't even need to be a ton of damage. It's just really high threat AOE damage is gonna help you collect mobs. It would be a really good tool to gain extra threat. I think a self-heal would be sick. Something that is in the Paladin tanking fantasy more so than anything else is being able to also heal. In retail, it's a defining feature of protection paladins that they can not only self-heal instantly, but 
heal their party instantly as well. There's already the mace, the hand of Edward the Odd, that has a chance on hit to give you an instant cast spell. I think that's one of the coolest weapons in the entire game. And it unlocks a ton of utility for paladins, but it's not really a tanking weapon. So I would like if we had a rune that inspired a chance on hit to have an instant cast ability. Something else that I think could be really cool for paladins is a two-handed tanking specialization. It pretty much speaks for itself. I don't think it's ever going to happen, but I do think it would be something that would be really cool. There are two-handed tanks in retail as Death Knights, so it is something that they have figured out. I think it would be really cool to just be able to tank with like a big two-handed mace or something like that. That one's pretty much like my wild card that probably isn't going to happen. Lastly, I just want to talk about something that I would like to see from kind of essentially season of discovery going forward or at some point. I would like to start seeing something like ascendancy runes that forever alter your character. So not saying I would do this, but if you were a paladin, you could have the option to complete a quest line to get a death knight rune. And if you equip that Death Knight rune, it forever sets your Paladin on the course where you can no longer acquire any future Paladin runes that are aligned to the light, but then they would have Paladin runes that come out that are aligned to, like, I don't know, a Death Knight path. The rune could be turn your exorcism into Death Coil. And it wouldn't necessarily take up like an ability rune because they could really just keep the abilities the same, just give them a different visual look or a different flavor to it. So balancing wouldn't get out of control, but it would still push forward that lore for your character. I don't know how many other classes would have a situation like that. Death Knight's already a class that's in the game down the line. So that one would probably be a little bit easier. But for something like a mage or a warrior, they may have to come up with new specializations or kind of like what they're doing in retail right now, hero talents. But they would more so be class defining runes that alter the path that your character is taking. I think that would add a huge layer of interesting interactions in the game. It would make the stakes be extremely high in terms of making decisions on which rune you want. And it would be a probably a pretty simple way to add a whole lot of flavor to the game. So this has been my wish list for phase four of Season of Discovery. We're here with my glowy dog friend. What's up, pal? Let me know if you'd like to see any of these things or if you have your own suggestions. I'm happy to see them. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. We're at the home stretch of our goal to 500. So I'm getting really excited about that. And uh, see you.